When we tell people our team had its biggest year in 2021, hilariously, the most common response is, where is all your business coming from? Isn't everyone leaving San Francisco? It's a good question, and I can see why you feel that way. I admit I feel it too, but I can also confirm not everyone is leaving San Francisco, and there's still a high demand for homes here and across the Bay. In fact, 2021 SF sales volume was the highest it's been in 16 years. But I know you're curious, so let's take a look at migration stats. Per the California Department of Finance, state population dropped in 2021 for the first time since its founding in 1850. The Bay Area population dropped by 0.6%, almost 53,000 residents in one year, and San Francisco's population dropped by 1.4%. And while around 27,000 households moved in, 68,000 moved out. Where are they moving? Generally speaking, the largest number moved to another Bay Area county, then to an adjacent California county, and finally out of state, with the top states being Washington, Texas, Oregon, Nevada, Arizona, and Colorado. So if so many people are moving out, where are all these buyers coming from? Why is it still so competitive? And how are there so many sales? Here are my thoughts. Number one, most of the people moving out are techies in their 30s who have the option of leaving because their jobs are no longer here. The truth is they were going to leave eventually. COVID was just a catalyst to their inevitable transition out. Two, those who were always here to stay are not only staying, they're making moves around the Bay. Millennials are coming of age to be first time homeowners and existing homeowners are trading up for more square footage and outdoor space. Number three, the new generation of young and hungry tech workers with startup dreams are still moving in. And not only are they well paid, but they're also very financially savvy. Finally, it's undeniable San Francisco is still an aspirational place to live. Surrounded by Bolinas Waves, Mount Tam Hikes, Tahoe Snow, Napa Wine, and deeply rooted in cutting edge innovation, Tony Bennett wasn't the only one with his heart in San Francisco. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Banter with Bran. Are you moving in SF, outside of SF, or even to another state? Let us know, our team's got you covered and we'd love to hear from you. Until then, see you next time.